Hello everybody, welcome to episode 131 with Wool is the Answer. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. And it's Friday the 5th of August. I wonder if that's a special day for any people. No, I can't think that it's a special day for anybody. I can't think it's a special day for anybody at all. It's only the 5th of August. Is it your birthday or anything like that? I hope you're having a nice day. Yes, I hope you're having a nice day if it's your birthday. Although I think we'd have forgotten anyway because we never get reminded. No, it's not something you ever hear about, is it, when people have got a birthday on the 5th of August? It's a friend of ours' birthday and she says, she's been saying since about November, it's my birthday soon. Well, I think she starts saying it actually from the 7th of August. Yes. <laughs> So, Sue, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, oh, dear. Right, let's just, let's just get... I was just saying to Dominique, I thought, I'm going to sit outside today. I haven't sat outside for ages. There was nobody in either garden, so I thought, oh, I can sit outside. Just got myself set up and the big black clouds came over, so I'd run inside quickly. So I had to bring the wool in. I'd been dying this morning, so I had to rummage... The, Throw it all in so it's all in a heap in the kitchen. So that's going to be a tangle to get undone, isn't it? Oh, that's better. Um, it's sorted. Just about. Hello, Victoria. We were worried about you. Victoria was on our knit and natter. Thought a storm was coming. Said she had to go to the basement. That was the last we heard of her. We thought you'd been transported to us. Yes. We're pleased you're safe. We're pleased you're safe. Hello, everybody. Hello, birthday girl Sue. Is it your birthday today? I hope you're having cake. Yes. And, gym, and you've had some time for knitting. Yes. Um, Thank you, Marjorie. Well spotted. I'm wearing my jumper. I love it. I love the shape of the neckline. Um... I did the second size, so it's not massive. It fits nicely. Three quarter length sleeves. I'll stand up just a little bit. I won't do Dominique's gymnastics. I really, really like it. And did you say you did it longer than the pattern said? No, I did it. Well, I did it. It's on the pattern. It shows like four of the colours, not the main colour. Do you know what I mean? So like, and then, so that's what I did. I just did it the same. And it's, it's not too long. I could have probably blocked it a bit more. And you measured it on Wednesday. Did you not say you... Yes, it was long. It, it, it's, if you measure it, I think it should be 35 centimetres and mine was 45 centimetres. Yeah. Well, I did do 10 centimetres more. Um, but I did do the second smaller size because we, we had quite a lot of positive ease in it. And I think the picture shows it as quite um, a baggy jumper, doesn't it? But I quite like it more fitted. Yes. But it's the neck I'm, I really like and the length of the sleeves. And what is it? It is the back show by Alicia Plum. Uh. Um, I wasn't very, I wasn't very sure about the colours, but now it's on. I quite like the colours now, so. Oh, scary. Oh, Victoria nearly were taken to us then. Well, you've obviously got power back now, Victoria, so I hope everybody is safe scary when it's weather like that so yes it was a really nice knit it knit up really quickly size five needles um and as i say i didn't want it too big and baggy so it's it's a nice fit for me and i'm i'm well i'm a 34 g bust um and i think the second i don't know what the second size was i normally buy 14 16 size tops do you know what i mean so yeah. it's it's I've gone smaller than what the pattern says you should do for your size. Yes. And I'm a tight knitter. Yes. But I could have really blocked it when I put it on Mrs. Woody Woodington. I didn't block it too much. I literally just let it hang where it needed to, do you know what I mean? But there was a lot I could have stretched it, but I thought I didn't I didn't really want to. So yeah, I'm pleased with this. So it's that's what I've cast off this week. Very good. You, I did. That neckline's perfect for me. That's the type of neckline I, I like. So, And you've started 
started a craze because Lisa's already cast hers on. Yes. But Tori's just said she's got the yarn to cast hers on. Yes. So. And, and guess what? You've cast another one on. Cast another one on. Now the eagle-eyed of you will recognise this colour. Well, I recognise that colour. I don't recognise the contrast colour. Well, you should do because it's blue in a purple world. Oh, it looks ever so light on camera. I know. I it, think... al it almost looks like pale navy, and I thought well, it's too dark to be pale yeah. navy. To be fair, I think it's a blue in a purple world-ish. Right. Um, mm. Let me try and get it there. That's a bit better with the that, well, That's much better. Yes. But it is a it is a bit paler than it normally than it normally is. I think so. Um, it, so it, it's paler than a. Uh, navy or anything like that yeah. it looked like um it looked much brighter but yeah that now I, yeah that's yeah so uh, those eagle eyed amongst you will know that it's the um i'm repurposing the um lady whistle down and i already had these three that were waiting to go so i've got three I'm, i can't remember i must have i must have got four skeins you bought three at the time I did buy three, and then did I buy another two? Because I've got those three balls there that look quite, there's a lot on them, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and then I've still got, I've still got me half a lady whistle down because I'm just going to knit from it. Maybe you panicked that you not, weren't going to have, you definitely got three at the time. But I thought I don't want to knit it all in the, the green. So I'm just going to knit from that when I get to it. I mean, the way I'm going, I might get too jumpy now to this lady whistle down. Um, yeah. So I'm repurposing it because I've been mourning about it for ages that I didn't like it. So I did something about it. Um, and that's all I'm doing. So I'm just going to do the second stripe. So the big chunk is 18, 18 rows, and then the other one, you normally do it in 18 row blocks. So I'm but doing you... eight, 18 and then six, I'm going to do. Right. Um, just to give it a bit of, bit of different colour in it. If you'd have done it 18 and 9, you'd have kept the same ratio all the way down. I know, but I did 6, because then I, that's 3. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it might go a bit longer this time. I might do it a bit longer, depending on how much wool I've got. Yeah. Um, so, because I do like the length of this. It covers me, me bits on my hips where it goes in. It could go longer. So if I've I got... Wasn't, I wasn't laughing. At, I was just laughing at the bed. Julia's just said, hello, everyone. Just had to get the washing in. I sat down and said, my bedding's out. And Marie said, go and get it in. I said, no, because we're late already. So Julia's had the same as... Yeah. Although looking here, some of the cloud has gone by. It has rained a little bit, but... It's going past. It, it'll get wet and dry again. Um, so, hi, Eve. I did wonder who Knit One was. I thought, oh, that's somebody new so so that's me that's my jumper and my cast on that's my knitting and what's it knitting this yes this is knitting our midnight yes beaches and bird song yes with cactus and it's a bird that sounds like a shell oyster catcher yay oyster catcher and christmas cactus Yes. On the boobage area. Um, so, yes, and they were in the sale at Beaches of Birdsong last year sometime, I think. I got them in the sale. Um, but, yeah, oh. I'm pleased with it. And it feels like a, it feels more like a summer jumper than a, than a thick double knit jumper. Yeah, it's five mils, isn't it? Yes. Like yeah. when, when I feel the, the texture of this one, it is like quite a thick jumper. What size needles do you have? That was probably, I have no idea. Fours, oh, I think. Smaller than fives, obviously. Yes, yeah, smaller than five. So it just goes to show how you can change the texture of your fabric by yeah. using different sized needles, you know. Yeah. There we go. And your Lady Whistledown is knit in. My Lady Whistledown is knit in. Um, the yarn is from Life on Mars. Keep on Mars. No. Third Volt Yarns. Third Volt Yarns. I have no idea what it's called. It's something like, it's something on the moon, footprints on the moon. It's something, I'll find it from a long time ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. 
I mean, I can't get. I did. I feel abysmally there, didn't I? You did. You know, and he, it's. I don't know if anyone ever looks at the links. But the only time I don't say anything or miss something, we always get asked a question. Yeah. yeah. But that's why I always say, right? You see, Susan. Was it not called something on Mars? Yeah, it was. That's I, oh Mars, not Moon. That's what yeah. it was. Footsteps on the moon, Mars. Something on Mars, I seem to think, but I mean, it could be anything, really. It was something on Mars. I was just looking to see if I could see. No, I can't. My notebook from... And I haven't got the label, because, come on, I've had it ages, and it was supposed to be that other jumper, but it's now going to be something else. Um, but it this, is... How much does it weigh? She's not asking that question, but how much does it weigh? How much does this weigh? I haven't weighed it. So Sue's asking, how much of the other yarn have you used with the midnight? Do you want me to go and wait quickly? Well, have you got what's left over? Because you had two more oh, here. I, I used to I had 200 grams of the midnight um, and I used one and a bit of the other midnight. And I would say I've probably used three quarters of the midnight. So you've yep, yeah, go on. And I would say that I've used at least 50 grams of each of the others. I can literally go and weigh it now. Well, Sue's asked that question, so at least we can know. Go on, wait, water's on Mars. Well done, Sarah. We were just waiting for somebody to say it. Right. Thank you, Sarah. That, I'm saves, I'm I'm gonna... Gonna... <laughs> that saves waters on Mars. I knew it was something on something, but I'd got moon and... Um... Well, if it rains, my bedding's going to get wet and I'll... Fortunately, I've got more than one set of bedding, so I won't get... I'll, I'll have bedding when I go to bed tonight. Um, you see, I come to you with all of this information. I'm ready to go and I get laughed at. But we need it. We need this information, particularly if you've got stash or you've got things that you want to use. We need to know. How much do you think I've used? Well, from what you've just said, I think you've used 243 grams. No. 344 grams. Well, you were way out with your... I was estimate. way out. So I've obviously used more of the stripes than I, than I thought because I, they were all 100 grams, so I had 400 grams to start off with. Yeah. Um, I probably got least of the midnight... Right. Um, and then... 340 yeah. what? Four. Right. Well, at least people know. Yeah, yeah. Because it is, the pattern's two colours, isn't it? You've done it in yeah. three, the pattern's two. So if you were doing it in two colours, you're going to need 200 grams of each colour. Yes. Yeah. For similar time, but I did. I did the second size. Yes. I haven't got my full pattern here, it's over there. Um, so yeah, I... Um, but when you look on Ravelry, excuse me, there's people who've done it in lots of different, you know, different stripes. They haven't done the big block stripes, or they've done yeah. it in... You know, so you could use it as a scrappy... As a scrappy yes. um, jumper. You know, when you just... It's like that rocket tee, I really like that T-shirt shape, and I really like this jumper shape. So yeah. I'm wanted now. So, like we've said before, once you find a pattern you like, you could eat because it is a straightforward pattern. You can put different texture in it if you wanted. Yeah, right. You could so, in a solid colour. Yeah. If I want it baggy, I just make the next size up. Yeah. So. Oh dear. You see, that's it. You laugh at me when I've got all my information, but people ask these questions. Yeah. And I'm. Do you know what? I'm. I'm meant to do it, and it's. I've actually put the spare wool away. I mean, how organised is that of me? That's very organised. I put the wool away in the in the stash box now. But as I held it, I thought, well, there's not a huge amount of each. There was still there was still a good chunk on them, you know. I'm, so I'm surprised at how much it has taken. I think you've used more midnight than you think. I think I probably have, yeah. 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 Um, they hadn't but, given up. The balls hadn't given up. You know how they give up on life halfway. They weren't that bad. They weren't straggles of yarn. Yeah, a bit like that. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't worse than that. You know what I mean? You know how you get. Oh, stop it. 
I mean, that's just not nice, is it? They weren't like that. They weren't. No, they weren't that. They weren't like that. So anyway, there you go. Jumper update. I've got my sports bra on, so I've got like this weird lump here. Oh, you can't see it I unless you do it. that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's talk. Let's talk about my boob area. Right. Come on. Oh. Right. <sighs> do you want to see what I've been knitting. On? I'd love to see what you've been knitting. I mean, it won't be a surprise. <gasps> that neck's getting bigger, Dominique. The colours are beautiful. I love that fizz whiz. I can't believe it, you've done. It's cast off. I can't believe you've done it. Let's see what it looks like, the neck. I mean, the neck is big, but... <gasps> I mean, look at us both in our knitted jumpers. That is really pretty. I will. Oh no, she's going to stand on the chair. You see, I can't stand on the chair because look, mine goes round and round. We've even got a dress on. I've got a dress on because I've bought it specifically. Hang on a minute. I mean, I rarely see you in a dress. That looks really nice with your dress. So. It's very nice. And after everything I've just said to you. How much did it weigh, Dominique? I've not weighed it. <laughs> After everything I've just said, it's so like the fact that we're just so organised on this. Topic. I mean, I've got to say, I like your dress. Your dress looks very nice. You could wear quite a few little crop jumpers with that. But the oh. neck is still massive. I can't believe how big the neck is. I'm talking because I know she can hear me. She's just 263. How much? 263. So that is really good. I've obviously made it slightly longer, but it's more cropped than I yeah. would if I was wearing jeans because I thought when you look at all the pictures, everybody's, not everyone, quite a lot of people are wearing it with a dress. So I thought, so it's a floor length dress, which I somebody never. Somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Oh, no. God, that's sick. Um, I. 263 grams that and I've got most left which you won't be surprised of of the midnight oh that's inside out now so in hindsight I could have gone slightly further with the midnight but I didn't want to go too much further otherwise it would have gone into the sleeves as well so I've got quite a lot of midnight left I have got that amount, hang on, not a huge amount of the second colour left, like that much. Yeah. And only that much of Fizz Wiz. Wow. So, because I wanted to use as much as I could of each, I mean, why on earth did I dye myself? Fizz was in sparkle, I have, will never know. And the noodle soup sparkle. I never wear sparkle, but I, I never wear sparkle. I never wear dresses. I never wear short sleeves, <laughs> but I really like it. I really like it. So, How do you feel about the neck? If you did another one, would you keep the same neck or would you go, would you try and do something with the neck? I would try and get it smaller, yeah. but loads smaller. Because when I bought the dress, I bought myself a white shirt as well. And it looks really nice Yeah, with a long white yeah. shirt. Where's your um, dress from? Because that's very nice. Long Tall Sally. Really nice. I like that. Long Tall Sally in the sale, it was about £28. Very good. And it's got pockets. Have it got so, educated waist? Yes. Very nice. Um, so I bought, and I bought a white shirt because that was in the sale as well. Um, so it's not been blocked. I mean, it, it doesn't need much blocking at all, otherwise it's going to be enormous. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a dress. It will just be, it will just have some light blocking, but... Yeah, I am really, really pleased with it. And I did say, because I'd started with the Fizzwiz and couldn't bear taking it out, I was going to end with the midnight on both. But actually, when I got to it, 
I thought it might look a bit odd. I like how you've done it. It looks really nice. Just that bit on the on the neckline yeah. looks really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So, and of course, it's not a eye cord cast off either. It's just a normal yeah. cast off in your rib. Yeah. So I just thought, no, it's going to look odd to try and add yeah. the midnight. So um, you've got a fellow pocketer here. Junior likes a pocket. Dominique uh, likes a pocket. Marie doesn't like a pocket. I absolutely love a pocket. Everything I, if I could wear everything with a pocket, I would. I mean, I'm never going to get married, but I always said my wedding dress would have pockets. You know, just it's what else really do Because you'd ordered some shorts, hadn't you? And, and I said to you, oh, what they like? You went, oh, they're horrible. They've got no pockets. And I was like, yeah. they sound perfect. I love them. You hated them. But you, everywhere you go, you've always got a handbag with you. Yeah. I never have a handbag. So I need somewhere to put my car keys and my phone. Anyway, so I couldn't have, I couldn't have bought no. that. I didn't buy it to go with that. But they look like they were dyed together. It looks perfect. So we're both obviously going through a midnight phase. Midnight. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh! It is well. It's noodle soup. Oh, what did we say it was called? You're asking oh. me. Yeah, well, you had to read it because it was a oh. funny. It was a yeah. funny word at the end. Anyway, yeah. I'll f I'll find the tag. New York New New York something. Your yeah. New York. So it, we didn't know if it was York or Yearn or... Yes. New York oh, egg. New York egg. Was, was it, it New York egg? I didn't... I'll find it from... Yosh, the... No, because we were thinking it was Yoshi. New Yoshi egg. New... <laughs> words. Something like that. That's no, what was it. it. I'll find I can't it. remember. Anyway, it was noodle soup and then it's fizz whiz. Your mum just collapsed on the floor when you said she's not getting married. Well... <laughs> no. They know that. <laughs> they know that. Um, so if she did pat, she'd want pockets in a wedding dress. Well, that was you know twenty years ago when I was young and foolish. <laughs> now, I, now I think I want all my money to spend on me. <laughs> I want to go on holiday where I want um, and have as many pockets in and as many things as you can. And I want to be able to knit from a skein without someone <laughs> falling over it. I would put it on, but it's just too warm. So oh, me. <laughs> I have never knit a jumper so quick. I've never knit a four ply jumper so quick. I wasn't even on Fizz Whiz last week. So I think that's four ply. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you've really cracked on with I've that. I've knit like a lunatic. Yeah. But I just wanted to get it finished and get it worn. So I would definitely knit another one. I'm not saying I'm testing it on now, but I would yeah. definitely knit another one. So there you go, from both of us, we've both knit what we've, again, I am starting again, and yeah, you can't have a better testament than that, can you? No. I mean, everyone I've seen, of the, I was put off by the um, reverse garter. Yeah. But. It looks nice in that yarn. I'm the same as you, whenever I see a reverse garter, I'm always a little bit, I'm not sure. Because I still, I still think I prefer the yarn. Yes. So why but don't I... you knit the next one like that, but with the... Yeah. The but I do around. think it looks nice. It, it's much nicer. After I saw Sherry's, yes. for real, and I thought, actually, I like it. Yeah. And like I said, I saw Victoria's. So that is my summer sorrel done, ticked off. I'm just laughing. He's obviously done putting that comment on there. That your mum's going to have to sell the mother of the bride dress now. She can just wear it the next cruise they go on or something. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, um, oh, bless. Yes, summer sorrel, done. Flew off the needles like nothing I've ever knit before. Good. So. I'm pleased everybody's enjoying the chaos that we're having again today. It is a while since we've had sort of like running to doorbells, running in and wool and up and down. I'm mm. just picking up with the comments. Popsy dresses all have them. I've never heard of a popsy dress. Is that a buy 
a company called Popsy or is that a Popsy pattern that you make? When I've made myself dresses, I've put pockets in, whether they've got them or not. If I buy dresses and they've got pockets in or even trousers, I saw them up. Saw them, so, and I saw them up. I hate them. I hate pockets. I don't like a pocket. You see, I'm looking at all them comments. There's more pockets than non pockets there. See, I always remember as a kid being told not to put things in your pockets because it, it made your clothes look messy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Company called Popsy. Thank you, Marjorie. I shall have a look. But I think you, you will find me at Yarndale in this dress with my summer sorrel on top. Nice. I mean, that's an invitation to come to Yarndale if yeah. being needed yeah. one. To be fair, I think this one would be nice over a dress. You know what I mean? Yes. Without pockets, of course. This would be nice without... Yeah, that's a good idea. I yeah. rarely wear jumpers over dresses and I probably, you know... Oh, well, I never, ever would. But the more you see people do it, I thought, well, let's yeah. give it a go. Let's give it a go. So, there we are. So, yeah, mm. I've really not got much left, but I might do a, some wristies or some socks just to use it up because they're such nice colours. The pockets. <laughs> the pockets. They're such, they're such nice colours together. I need to use them bits up because there's not enough to do anything else with them, really. So they'll just yes, go to one side. I would hate the lay cake with all the pockets. No, yeah. it's never going to happen. I do yeah. have, I've got a pinafore dress that's got pockets in the front, but that's different because they're there. I would never put my hands in them. Well, wow. there you go. There you go. Um, I've got one other thing, but I'm doing a Marie. I've just finished in the middle of a row, so keep Ooh. talking while I get to the end finished of this in row. in the middle of a row. I mean, who would do that? That's disgraceful. I mean, anything could happen. All your knitting could fall off. Well, I suddenly... I thought... That's why I like knitting in the round, because you have to stop in the middle of the row. Well, I underestimated how long it was taking me, and I thought I can get one more row in before we start, and I couldn't. And you cast on? No, this it's the um, shawl. I mean, I've really all, right. all I've done is knit on that jumper, but I have added some to it, and I've just got the second colour in. So that's the only thing. Yeah, that I don't know. How it, how Are you trying to get to the end of the row? I'm trying to get to the end of the row. Oh no, it just shows it in the middle of the row. No, I'll get to the end. We're not far away. We're not far away. Oh my life! So and already everybody else knitting on. Has any what? What's everybody else working on? I know we've got people now knitting jumpers. Has anybody started the Christmas knitting? That's what I want to know. Um, I keep having ideas of what I'm going to make for Christmas presents. I was going to say Christmas knitting for yourselves or Christmas knitting as presents. Both. I'm interested to know what people are knitting as presents. Um, might give me some inspiration. Um, I'm not even there yet. This is, and I'm only. I'm not even halfway through this shawl. I, I was actually looking at my Christmas card the other day because there's a there's a company that you get a bit of a kit and it's paint your own, not by numbers. You do, it shows you how to paint different things for Christmas cards. So I might treat myself to that and make myself some um, hand paint the Christmas cards. Marjorie's waiting for her advent box. Which one, Marjorie? And, you know, have you got more than one, perhaps? I think she wants ours, she wants information. Oh, I've told you, Marjorie, it's wool. There's 12 skeins, different colours. <laughs> yeah. And the theme is Christmas at the movie. You'll like it. Gift socks. You'll like it. That's very good, Sarah. Yes, gift socks. Very good. Um, I don't know what, to, I, don't, I don't know what to, it feels like it's ages away, but it won't, it's not. I know it's not, it, all of a sudden it'll be here, won't it? Yeah. I mean, I well, am going away for Christmas, so maybe I shouldn't be worrying about what I'm sending for Christmas presents because I won't actually be here for Christmas Day. Um, Victoria's saying, not Christmas, but working on the Linden shawl. That's a new one on me. 
Or, oh, we're not going to go down another rabbit hole now, Victoria. No, it's not. But I'm just trying to keep you talking. I've got about another 20 I'm going to look now at this linden shawl. Now you've said it. And I, before I show you the shawl, I don't want to move away from Christmas. No, because I'm interested in what people are going to make. That's or, not the I'm interested, but keep or, going. Or what what are you hoping for Christmas wise? Crafty. Have you got any have you got any things on your wish list that I could maybe add to my wish list? Caroline, can we share what you do how you do your Christmas knitting? Or not. I don't want to share it if you don't want to. Yeah, how do you do your Christmas knitting? I mean, you've got me confused. No, how you do your Christmas knitting, but how you decide what you're knitting for people. Because I think it's a really clever idea that might, people might like, but it, Caroline might not want to share it. Right, I've got. Which Linden shawl is it, Victoria? Can you tell me? Because I've got a few up on Instagram. So while Dominique's now showing us. Oh, knitting hats, knitting hats for our tree in the parish church for the Festival of Trees. Oh, that's nice. Caroline said yes. So Caroline had said, and it might not be Christmas, it might be birthday, but what she does for her knitworthy friends that she knits for, she basically gives them a choice. So she'll show them pictures of things she wants to knit and say, what would you like me to knit for you? And give me a colour. So instead of knitting your friend a hat that never wears them, yeah. they might have... Hats, mittens, a cowl. So they don't know what they're getting, but they could. Good idea. I thought that was a really that nice is a really idea. Good idea. I do like that idea. Because then you know you're knitting something yes. they actually want. Yes, exactly. Ooh, so yeah. I just thought that's a really nice idea to share with people. That if is you a lovely idea. Knit for people, give them a suggestion. Clearly, you're not going to show them a summer sorrel or something like that unless you really have got a lot of time or yeah. really like them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, socks, mittens. So I thought that was a very, very good idea. Um, by Lisa R. Myers. I thought it would be that one. Oh, my lordy lord. Oh my God, that looks that, enormous. That looks massive. That looks it's, like a big triangle. It. it is. Um, no. Three ply. Three ply. Maybe yeah. like four ply. It's three ply on size 3.5 mil needles. And it's that, a free pattern. That looks enormous. It looks beautiful because it's obviously a bit of mosaic knitting and it does look yeah. huge. I'm it taking it. I'm taking that it's a big triangular shawl, is it? Yeah. But it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Very nice. That it's only two skeins. Good lord! It looks huge. It does that's obviously blocked? Well then. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking at the projects. There's lots of different. Oh, that's a nice shawl. That. I'll add it into the. I'll add it into the. Um... Add it into the ever growing queue. Yeah, I'll add it into ever-growing. That's nice, what, that. What yarn? Marie said it's three-ply. Three-ply, it says. But I'm sure you could use four-ply. What does it say, metrage per 100 grams? It says, stand by one moment. It says yardage, 625 metres. Per 100 grams? No, complete. Um, it used... Manos del Uruguay is the yarn it was used. Approximately 100 grams is 546 yards. So One it's not... Of each. That's not much. How much How much in yards? In yards, the whole shawl takes 683 yards. They're doing a bit of maths there, which yeah, is... 100 grams. 100 grams is 500 and what yards? 46 yards. I don't want it into feet, I want it into metres. Into metres. It's about... 499. Right, so it is four, it's like our four-ply, isn't it? Well, it's not... Oh, you could probably do it in four-ply, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's not a million miles away. No. Um, no, you don't often see three-ply. Well, it's calling it like fingering weight yarn. Um, and 
Um, because it's a shawl, Victoria's using fingering. Because it's yeah. a shawl, it doesn't matter. Your gauge doesn't matter particularly. It's just going to be even bigger. Looking on the projects, a lot of people have used um, four ply. That is a yeah. really nice pattern. I like that. You don't like that shape, though, do you? No. 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 I wouldn't knit it because it is just a big, yeah, big triangle. Yes. And I would love to wear it. it depends how many stitches you end up with, Victoria. <laughs> Fifty-five thousand million. Oh, I can tell yeah. you because I've just downloaded the pattern. Um, I, can I wanted to keep you on Christmas because something arrived in the post over the weekend. What, what could have arrived? Is it your jigsaw? <gasps> Christmas around the world. Is it, your knitting? Is it a jigsaw? Oh, perfect. Oh, but well done. I was looking to see if 2022's jigsaw was out and it hasn't. And I think this is either 2020 or even older. It was either, it was either 12 or 18 pounds. That's really good. That's really good. So I thought, well, I don't, it doesn't matter what year it is. It's a brand new one for this year. I yeah. don't need to buy this year's now. Yeah. So I've already got my jigsaw advent calendar. I'm pleased I saw that you'd bought that. That's all I'm going to say. Well, that's why I thought I need to show it anyway. But also, if anybody else is... Oh, Caroline bought the one I had last year because I think that was for sale. Because I showed it last year and other people said about it, I thought, yeah. well, I'm going to show you. And if you want to get one that's on sale, yeah. it was Amazon. If it, as long as it's still there a week later, I'll put the link on in case anybody wants to get it because... Yeah, um, it's funny because I was literally looking at those the other day. So I'm pleased I know you've bought one. Well, I've got this one for this year. So I've now got my two jigsaws. But... Going, yeah. back to that, going back to that shawl, 361 stitches. Not too bad. Yeah. Well, so that's what I'm working on. I've got to the end of my row, and these rows are already getting too long, and I don't like it. But, oh, yeah. but and I've only done this much. <laughs> but I'm just, get, I'm just getting on to my second colour. Okay. Nice. So it's the... Um, just looks Camp like a child's bib there. It's the Campside Shawl by Alicia Plummer. And it's a free pattern. It's one of her free patterns. Nice. But I didn't have enough double knit because it's three skeins it needs. So yeah. I'm just doing it in 300 gram skeins. Um, but I literally just wanted to start to get the colour change done and I thought I would do it like I've done the jumper because I can't do that because you change you don't change always on even numbers uh, and I don't want to change on a wrong side so I'm just going to fudge it a bit so it's not going to be quite a smooth transition but rather than just go from one block to another yes just do a couple of stripes and then into the next yeah. block nice so, all my maths that I did last last week, oh, it's on there, where I've had to write all the rows out and number them all so I know what colour changes. That's not worked particularly well. But um, so, so speaking of advent calendars, then what other advent calendars have people bought? Non knitted, you know, non wool ones. What other yeah. advent calendars do you go for? Because I got last year um, the Corinne Lapierre one. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, what other ones do you know? I mean, get? you can get so many oh, kinds now. Yeah. There's just... And not ridiculous price. You know, let's be realistic about yes. it. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, that, like I say, it was either 12 or 8. I'll tell you, because I'll... What was I, it? The Jo Malone candle one was like hundreds hundreds of pounds. Well, like some of the gin or whiskey. Yeah. I understand that they are yeah. alcohol and things, but... Um, what crafty ones do you get? Are there any other crafty ones out there? Or your jigsaw one was a really clever idea. I like that. Are you reading? And I'm just trying to find. It was twelve pound. I knew it was either twelve or eighteen. So 
and I think they were about thirty pound. Yeah. As they come, which I still, well, I bought one last year, and I would have paid thirty pound. But why pay thirty pound if you can get one for twelve? Yeah. I'll do this year's, next year, or the year after. It doesn't yeah. matter, does it? So. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. If you've not had them each year, you can get them. Yeah. New to you, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I know um, Paula stitched by Mrs. D. She always has her Bon Mammon jam. Jam. Yeah. I don't know marmalade as well, but she always has her jams. And I can't. I've never looked, but I can't imagine that's that expensive because yeah. they are just little pots yeah. of jams. Um, yes, Marjorie. I've, I've made. I usually make Dominique one. I've made you tea ones, haven't I? In the past, yes. Dominique made me one this year with lots of little. Yes. Things. Yeah. Um, you like making them? Dominique does normally get one of some description. Yes. Um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah I, I just I do like them. Yeah. I know it's it's just nice to have something yeah. to open yeah. every day, and not just like the normal chocolate one. Do you know what I mean? It is nice to get. A little little gifty ones isn't it there's something different in it is but i still need to have a chocolate one to have a chocolate one every day but you know um i always have an advent candle that i burn all the way through december i don't know to me that's part of christmas the whole of december that build up um natasha where did i get the jigsaw from it was from amazon I'll link below, but yeah. I, it's a Gibson's. I just Googled Gibson's Jigsaw Advent Calendar 2022 or whatever, because yeah. I did say I would let everyone know when this year's was out. It's not yeah. out yet, but I found that. So Good stuff. Um, speaking of birthdays, Christmas, opening things. This was delivered moments before we arrived. Oh. So, and I've not had a chance to open it, so we'll open it and I'll show you what it is. I'll show you the card in a second, because if I show you the card, it'll be the way. It's inside. Sorry. It's exciting. What are you trying to do? I'm, I was trying to open it as quietly as I could. Oh, no, just get on and rip it. Just go open it. No, because people like me just cannot stand the noise. Really? See? Oh my! You'll find a lot of podcasters cut it all out because it's just the oh, noise, right? Okay. Oh. What have you got in the box? So this is the company. Oh, <gasps> nice! Oh, I thought it was going to be a kit to make your own. No, look at oh, that! I saw those the other day on Instagram. Yeah, because I've been because I, started, been I started following her. She's got another basket. I just that is beautiful. What's it made out of? Oh, it's that thick. It's like, crocheted. Um, that is beautiful. It, it's crocheted using some sort of cotton, I think. Um, really oh, now I don't. It just. I, she's got. She's got lots of different. Shapes, sizes. Does she do the kits? She's, I don't know. She's, I've seen that she's put on, I don't know where she's in the UK. I could look on the box to see where the postmark was, but she's running workshops. Right. She's recently won a, run a workshop because I've seen. That's what, I'm, that's what I must have seen then. The, yeah. I thought, oh, I wonder if they're kits to make. That is beautiful. Really it's pretty. Absolutely. Really I, nice. I mean, I'm doing it to everybody else now. I saw sort of, Kelly, Lay Family Arms had got one and she showed it on her podcast. And I was like, not this shape or colour. And I was just like, oh my God, I need, I need one of them. But that what? just it is so what are you gonna put in it? I don't know. I think it's going in my bedroom, not necessarily wool. You could put all your advent calendar things in it. Could be your oh, advent. Not big enough. Oh, not big enough for all your advent calendars. No, but like they're all in boxes or things like that. So um, that is really nice. I do like it. Very nice. I don't know what's quality. going in. It literally came just as I was about to 
So I managed just to rip the box open. Um, but yeah, she's not got a website or anything. I don't know how she sells, but I just messaged her on Instagram because there's no prices or anything. And then she just sent me pictures through of the price list. So I think they're in three different prices and each price band is different shape sizes. Right. And then she just sends you a picture of obviously all the colours of the yarn she's got. So how much is one that size then for an idea? Thirty pounds. That's not bad actually, is it? For the, uh, you know, that's really beautiful. I thought that was a really yeah, I think that's, that's a good price. Um very nice. And then five pound postage, but yeah, yeah. Um so yeah. So I'll put the link to her. Very nice. That's her Instagram. She's Kate Keller, but that's yes. whatever that says. That's yes. her Instagram. That's really good. Yeah, I can't say that. So, so yeah, I've had two very exciting parcels this week. Ooh, you have jigsaws, and it's not even your birthday yet. I know. You need to start doing a list before you just keep buying things. I am a long way out for my birthday yet, though. Yes, I know, but I need plenty of, plenty of inspiration. Right, OK. Yeah. It's not till the end of November. No, but I do need plenty of inspiration because right. you were reminding me this morning when I was there dying and going, oh, we've got loads of time still to do things. You quite rightly told me we haven't because we've got so much on between now in the beginning of November. Well, well, now until Christmas, really. Yeah, but up to your birthday is what I'm saying. From yeah. now till November, we are quite busy. And yes. you quite rightly told me the certain times when we're aware, you're aware, I'm aware, we're aware. Then we've got shows, you know, we're, yeah. I'm just thinking, oh, we've got months yet. Months, months, months. Yeah, but when you de deduct all the other bits that we've got to do, we've, yeah. got, we've got weeks. Yeah. 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 Anyway. I, I, I just like living and thinking, oh, it's ages away. Christmas so, ages if away. anybody's got a birthday, you know. That is beautiful. Or, I really like that. They be you, birthday money, Sue. Yeah, Sue. Uh, like you sit in your bedroom with, like, toiletries in or... Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking, yeah, something yeah. like that. It's not necessarily going to be... Socks. Wool basket. It's going to be... I Beautiful, like decorative. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I don't know that one. I don't know that, Alex, but I wasn't talking to you in the first place. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That, I've not got anything else. I've, I've done a few more rounds on my socks, but they're like literally a stripe or two. So I haven't done, I haven't done much. I, have, I finished this, but I haven't done a huge amount of knitting. I haven't been sat because my back's been playing up. So I haven't been sat doing much knitting. Um, but I, I'm, so I'm going to continue on with that I think I'm going to work on my blanket a bit and continue with a bit of sewing I've been you know just do some more of me sewing I think just mix I, don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do because that shawl needs interspersing with something else because I'm going to get bored with the length of the rows yes but I don't know what that's going to be. So hit us with your ideas of what Dominique can knit next. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's how jumper, uh, the jumper came along when everybody started talking about And apparently Sue's next birthday soon. Yes, it is. It is Sue's next birthday. Yeah, yeah I don't know what... I've knit myself... Well, I don't know what... I've, I don't know the end of that sentence. I've done so much knitting this week on that jumper because I was determined to get it finished. You knit yourself into a corner. Maybe I just need... And it's my short weekend. I'm out tomorrow. I've got a load of dying to do. So actually, maybe I just don't do too much. No, maybe you just chill. Yeah. But there's a lot of sport on, so it's nice to have things go... Maybe I just finished... The first sock and that bussy. I've well, got never finished watching the lionesses. I was just knitting really quick watching it. But yeah. So yes. I think that's what got me finishing the jumper so quick because I was just knitting so fast. Fair Isle hat. Mm. Oh. You could use that wool up. 
it, it's, and there's not enough for a hat there. No, no. well, it, the jumper was 263 grams. So right. even though there's bits over, there's only 37, 40 grams. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You sell something for Christmas decorations. Well, when um, Caroline said she was knitting hats for the trees, I like that. Yeah. I could always. Just don't make it like, you, like your boob bunting that you did before. When, yeah, they're lovely, those. I could always just. Yeah. Make not some, knit, not knit, knit some of them, couldn't I? Would they? Because they're cute, those. They're really cute. You see, you say fair isle hat, and I come back to that. I like that. Yeah. Let's see. This time next week, I might have just done another three rows on my shawl, and that'd be it. But yeah, we have weeks like that, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Especially when you know when life gets in. You know when you're busy and you're working as well full time. Yeah. And... I mean, that, that's the only reason I managed to get that done. It was my long weekend yeah. off last weekend, and although I did a load of dying, the memories now got to wind. Because it is... I've wound it all. That's all wound. So I've got my own little pile to do now. And, and, what, and the rest of what, what I gave you. Giving me today. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just uh, go on with that tomorrow, I think. Um, what I was going to say as well, while we're talking about the wool, thank you to everybody who said they would um, do the hat for us, the samples and just checking the quantity of wool. Um, I'll be posting it out tomorrow, those people who are doing it. So... Um, we had quite a few, so it was easy just drawing it out of a hat and yeah, so to speak, not the hat that you're knitting. Um, so thank you very much for those people. Um, we just wanted some new samples knitting up for um, Yarndale. Yarndale, that's the word. Well, because it was done in the Donny Gall with the yes. watercolour necks that we don't do anymore. No, so we've got a couple of balls left of that. Yeah. And we also wanted to split it, didn't we, so that you could just have the hat pattern as well. Yes. You could have it as a little kit. So we just need to, we know how much yarn it takes for both of them in the big kit, but we just yeah. wanted to work out how much we definitely needed to try and keep the prices down. Um, because not everybody wants no. matching and cowl some people do but some people just want to knit a hat yeah. or just want to knit a cowl so so we will have that available for Yarndale um hopefully yes. we'll do some of them as the kits so just you'll get a pom-pom and your the quantity of wool in the pattern so that's what we're thinking yeah uh, seven weeks tomorrow I know it's not long is it not no long. really not long. no um hat vent oh is the thank you, Victoria? Yeah. Isn't that what you used one year? Didn't you use the hat vent pattern? No. Which pattern? isn't isn't a hat vent like? Mm. Mm. Like an advent, but for hats type thing. More I thought it was those little hats. Maybe not. I thought no. it was hats that you'd done. No, that's um, Jody from Grocery Girls. Oh right, okay. When you say a green hat, Caroline, do you mean a little hat or do you mean a hat that then is given to somebody to wear? Because I could do that. <laughs> I could always, in fact. You're looking for hats for your chari charity tree. Chari chari tree. Charity tree. Are you looking? Oh, it was that then. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought the hat vent was little hats. Right. Well, I'm I, sure I looked at that one year because I've made little jumpers, haven't I? Um, and I'm sure. The, whatever I did, it wasn't Jody's pattern. Right. Um, I could no always do you need hats. Yeah. We're knitting full size hats for charities on our tree. Mum likes knitting hats. I mean, she likes knitting baby hats, but she will do big hats. So I could get mum knitting hats. Yeah, but green. it could be a full-size hat for a child. Any, as long as it's green, we can do that. Yeah, because your mum's always looking for something to knit, isn't she? And that tangled mess of double-knit olive you've given me that's still not... 
I could use that. I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I definitely am not going to need it for that shawl now. So I'll yeah, I'll get it untangled. Is right. there a specific pat in Caroline, or is it just anything? Pat for Caroline. Yeah, anyone else that's doing... Mum sent me a picture that I need to get from her tomorrow from the Woman's Weekly, and there, there was a crochet pattern of... It was a crocheted bear. Crochet a bear for our charity campaign. So I'm going to get that, and I'll just share it on our... Knitting natter, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Mum's trying to say she won't knit a complicated pattern. No. But, but she, might... will just, she will just knit a... Yeah. Just and a hat. hat and then zip to the top and then... Yeah. yeah. Just send but... us a bit more information, Caroline, and then we can... Um, yeah. Yeah. Lock something out there. Because like you say, sometimes you just want something to knit that you don't have to think about and it's easy. Yes. And it's for a good cause. I could sit and knit a hat. My, it might take me two, three, four evenings. Yeah. But if you've just got half an hour or so, just to... When I was call taking, I used to knit hats at night yeah. when I was call taking because you can just yeah. go around in circles. So, um, Especially if you do them in thicker wool as well. And pick it up and put it down. You don't need to... And until you're on your decreases, you don't need to worry about it, do you? Um, so, um, well, I've got nothing else there. I mean, to say that we didn't have much to show today, we have managed to fill in nearly an hour. Yeah. So we've done quite well. And it's not absolutely poured down, so my bedding's not wet through. Well, although it, there's a very horrible... Climate. Yeah, there is. I can see that, but it's not here yet, so... So that's a positive. We, you know, we've managed to, we've managed to, despite all the distractions, we've managed to keep, keep the rain cool. away. Keep the rain away. You know, look on the positives. Well, if nobody's got any further questions, we shall go. Musselborough hat, right? Let's have a look. Why do I know that? Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I that sounds that. very familiar. Have we knit it? It sounds very familiar. Let's have a look. It does sound really familiar. Let me have a look. I'll go on and then I'll show a photo. It, mm, it does sound familiar, but... It does sound familiar. It's probably an hour pattern thing. Just muscle burr, just muscle... Um, we've, we've not mentioned books recently, but I am just about to finish the fifth in the Betty Hetchman series. Um... I can't put them down. I absolutely cannot put them down. So I don't know if anyone else has... Julia, it was you that put them on there first. I've read the first knitting retreat. I've read the first one in the knitting retreat series, Yarn to Go, because I was waiting for the fifth one in the crochet series to come from the library. And I have absolutely loved them all. So, yeah, I can't, I've got a... 20 pages left and I've had it left since last night and I just need to sit down. It's not what I was thinking. It's just literally a plain beanie. A plain knit. Yeah, right. plain knit beanie. Thank you for that. All, mm -hmm. all shades of green. Then we're putting tie pom-poms on them in bright colours that can come off afterwards. So you don't want a pom-pom putting on them. You just want the hat. Any pop, any pattern, any size. Marjorie's reading... Marjorie... I've read the crochet one, so I'm on to, hang on, because it's just there. This is the one I'm nearly finished. A Stitching Crime. That's the one I've... Oh, well done. Have you managed to get them from the library then? Because I know I'd looked on the Libby and I couldn't get any on the Libby app. Yes, and they're all, and I don't understand why, all these are the large print ones. Um, Oh, I'll have to look at the library. I might have to order them from the library then. I'm there. <gasps> and actually, you get recipes and a um, pattern at the bot at the back. So I have read. Oh, she's not got a list of. There normally is a list of the books in the series, isn't there? Ah. But I've read all of 
the crochet ones up to this one. Yeah. And then the knitting retreat one, the first one is yarn to go, which I've read, and I've got the next two ready. So uh, other people are reading. The, so Julia, thank you very much for the recommendation because they're just on put downable, and I like that in a book. So um, that is good. Oh, it's, it's knit as a tube, so you can reverse it. Yes, yeah. I like how Victoria says it's a wonderful knit and fits really well. I know one head it will not fit. That would be for sure. Well, the chocolate muffin recipe. Do you know what I've not? I know this. I've not. I shouldn't be skipping to the book because. Um, I, might, I might have to. I tried to get them and I couldn't. I couldn't get them, so I might have to have a look again and see what I can get. I've not even looked at the um, patterns or the recipes. I just finished the book and start the next one. So this one's got a crocheted all-purpose pouch. No, yeah, all-purpose pouch purse and a different stitch, and then sweet and savoury mini cream puffs and classic Ooh. spores. So, well, there you go, there you go. But so we've got other people reading them, and I'm pleased you're enjoying them yeah. as well. But I'll have to see are there any other knitting knitting themed ones? And I can try again on Libby and see if I can find any more on there or on Kindle. I'll have a look on Kindle because I did find some. I think I just need to have a look. Well, Debbie McCoomber does as she's done a series that I've read two or three times. Um, I'll have a look then. Because I'm, I'm still doing it, the, Dale, oh. the Dales ones, so I'm, I'm on those. And like I was saying to, I did, did get, I was saying to Linda at the Knit and Natter on Wednesday, when she typed on the comments, oh, you mean the Samson and Delilah books? Well, I, because I, I do skim read, and I'd read it as Delia, because I'd just obviously just read the first bit of the name. I hadn't twigged it was Samson and Delilah. I'd read nearly the whole book and not twigged that her name was Delilah to go with Samson, which makes perfect sense. So that just goes to show, I just, oh, that's the name. And I never even read it anymore. That's ridiculous. So I'm um, enjoying those. I'm on the second one of those. Piddleton Murders. No, Piddleton Hotel Murders. Who's that by Marjorie? Because that's a new one. Piddleton Hotel Murders. I mean, I'm now on Amazon. This is. Yeah, well, it's just nice, isn't it? After. Yeah. After I'd slogged my way through that Janice Hallett one that I really, that took me about three and a half months to read. Oh, no. Like, well, like we say with knitting, why well, I struggle oh. through things. Look at um, that. Look at the pictures of the books. Now that makes me happy. There's loads oh, of them. Yes. Someone said that because I've seen them before. Oh, Calamity. Christmas Calamity at the Vicarage. Oh, I might have to have a look into these. Oh, oh, even better. There's some of them are free on me, Kindle Unlimited. Who's I'm on the it. author? Um, Emily Organ, of course it is. Organ? As in, in a church that you play? Yes. Yes, I think it was Caroline. I think it probably is. Caroline's our book aficionado. I think, it, oh, there's, there's one, two, three, four of those, five, six... There's six of those on Kindle Unlimited. Guess where I'm going? Well, I've definitely seen the covers of them. Yes. So either I've not been able to get them on the library or I've got sidetracked by somebody else. So, like, now I've found these books, I will read the whole series while I yes. can. And then I'll move on and find somebody else just because I'm enjoying them so much rather than flipped between them all. Oh, I've just downloaded the first one. Well, there you go. There you go. So, yeah, I will be... Although the next one in this series, and I can't remember what it's called, he's not in at the library yet, so I am going to flick between this one to the Knit and Retreat, the right. second of the Knit and Retreat murder, but it's the same author, so it feels like you're reading the same yes. series. Good you then. just need to remember which characters are in which, but... Um, right. Let me see. right, that's it. Now I've said that, before I do anything else, and I've got loads to do, I'm going to sit and finish this book. I'm not doing anything else, I'm going to sit and finish this book. Good. 
Um, I might get my bedding in first and then I'll... Go and get your bedding in first because I'm worried about that because it, it will be nice and dry now. And I'm going to go and rescue the skeins that are thrown on the table and hang yes. them up so at least they're in some sort of semblance of order when I come to uh, wind them. Yes. And then I'll go and dig out some green wool and look at hat patterns. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for your inspiration, everybody. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. And thank you we for joining in. We like it when you all um, we ask do. a question. For some reason, last week, the comments had been knocked off the um, podcast. Can you remember when I was saying something on my... I did something on my laptop, on the iPad, and I couldn't read people's comments. Yes. When I went afterwards, they did knock the comments off. So it's back on now for the comments on last week's... Um, I don't know how it had happened... My, my iPad I've, crashed. I've it always been able to see them. They were there the Saturday morning. No, for people to be able to comment. Not right. not live, you know, on afterwards on the repeat. Oh, right. People commented and got it switched off. So my laptop, my iPad had crashed halfway through it, you see. And then when I went back on, I couldn't read the live comments. But then for some reason, it had stopped comments altogether. So it's sorted now. So if anybody had been trying to comment on last week's. And we never say it, but I am going to say it. Please like and subscribe. Yes, please like and subscribe. We always forget. Yes. Just because Yes. it helps other people find us. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and then you'll never miss one. Yes, exactly. That's it. I mean, um, we might, but you won't. Yes. Oh, I'm pleased you've enjoyed it, Barbara. It's nice, yes. to, it's nice to have you here live. We like having the interaction, don't we? It's nice to have the interaction. Yeah. Because at yes. least we go off on tangents and then we all end up with patterns and do different things. So Well, you end up with different patterns, different books, different yeah. recipes. Just, yeah, yeah. we Not can show one chair know. and share alike. Not just knitting and crocheting, you know. No. Yeah. Right. Have a good weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.